Today I'm headed off to the Goodwill outlet or the Goodwill bins in search for home decor. Once I wrap up shopping, I'll show you what I ended up purchasing. I'll show you what I do with any project pieces I picked up. And as always in the end, I'll share exactly how much I spent. I want to thank Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video. More about them later, but for now, let's get to it. If you haven't been here before, the way this works is they bring out these big blue bins. You pick what you want and pay by the pound. One thing I love about shopping at these stores, they are constantly bringing out new bins throughout the day. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. You just never know what you're gonna find. This is such a great place to find not just seasonal decor, but decor that you would only use for a season. So items for babies' rooms, kids' rooms, or even items for weddings. And this here is my mystery item of the day. I really don't know what this is. If you do, I'd love to hear from you. almost passed on these. It looked as though they'd been sitting in the sun for a while. As you can see, the tips of them have some fading and discoloration, but my sweet mama, who is my shopping buddy, encouraged me to go ahead and pick them up. She said, I'm sure you can figure something out. I did consider spray painting these, but I opted to paint the leaves so I could keep that stem brown to help make them look a little more realistic. You may think that I really love artificial greenery and florals. The reality is I do not have a green thumb. So these have been a great alternative for me. I also picked up these branches this day. And as you may know, I'm not a big fan of the orange or red tones in wood.
keep in mind that any price tags you're seeing here are what they were going to sell them for at the regular Goodwill, but again, at the Goodwill outlet, you pay per pound. Gravel can work not only for weighing the vase down so it doesn't become top heavy and easily tip over, but it's also helpful for holding the florals in place where you want them. Whenever I'm doing a project like this, I like to try to start on the bottom so I can test out that finish to see if I'm going to like it. Be aware when working with waxes like this that they can take one to three weeks to fully cure. After applying that white wax to this, I still wasn't loving the color, so I decided to mix up a wash. I can't tell you the last time I purchased a picture frame new. One thing I did forget to check was that stand on the back of it. When you're shopping at the Goodwill outlet, it's best if you can really look over your items before you check out. Sometimes in the evenings, my husband and I like to sit and chat about our hopes and dreams and goals. And one thing that has really hit me recently is a lot of these, if we want to see those come to fruition, it's going to require us to get intentional with our finances. This leads me to today's sponsor. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you to easily manage and cancel subscriptions, lower bills, and just overall manage your money better. I've loved using Rocket Money for creating a budget. In the past, when we've tried to stick to a budget. We've done so with pen and paper and it's been hard to stick to it. But Rocket Money makes it so simple. You can track your spending right there within the app. They'll notify you of any upcoming bills. And I personally find it oddly satisfying to see each charge categorized. I've seen people talk about how once they got Rocket Money, they found they were being charged for something that they weren't aware of. I thought there was no way that would be us. We were too aware of our finances, but I found we have been paying seven 
$11 a month for the past year for a service that we are not using. Rocket Money makes it really easy to cancel those subscriptions with just a couple taps right within the app. Another feature that I love is they will help you negotiate down your bills. In order to do this, you do have to give them a little bit of information up front as well as upload a photo of your bill. But then from there, they take care of it. If like me, you have goals and plans and dreams and you're ready to get intentional, join me and over 5 million other members using Rocket Money by going to rocketmoney.com slash Tiffany Gemmer or head down to that description box and click on that link to get started for free today. I believe this was originally intended for outdoor dining or picnics to protect your food, but that top piece there was not in the best condition. The H was missing off of this sign, but I was able to find it in the bins. Once this was fully dry, I primed it, but apparently I should have first sealed it with shellac because there were some tannins or that yellow color bleeding through.
I thought this planter was really nice. And this is something that I would definitely consider using as a waste basket as well. My initial thought was to remove that decoupaging on there. That was proving to be really difficult, so I ended up going with plan B and getting some really aggressive sandpaper. This is 40 grit and sanding that off. I later went over it with 100 grit. I did start sanding down the bottom portion of this, but partway through, I decided that it was just gonna be more work than I wanted to do to try to get into all of the little nooks and crannies and remove the paint from this whole piece. So I decided to take the easier route and prime and paint the bottom. This was not my intention when I picked this up, but apparently this works great as a cat bed. You may recall that I picked this up a while back at the Goodwill Outlet. I am constantly picking up little miscellaneous crafting items there. It has saved me so much money.
Now I know that farmhouse style is not exactly trending right now, but I also know that there are still plenty out there that really enjoy it. These just made me think of summer and a lemonade stand and picnics. I thought these could work well for decorating for Valentine's Day or the 4th of July. I really wanted to love this, but I just wasn't. So I decided to do a wash on it. I picked this up for one of my sister-in-laws who really enjoys that country style. This is also a great place to pick up home essentials like hangers. Before we get to the grand total of what I spent this day, if you enjoyed this video, would you please do me a big favor and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. My pre-tax total this day came to $66.60. If you would like to see more videos like this, I'll have a playlist linked down in that description for you, as well as all products shown in this video. And don't forget to go check out Rocket Money. Thanks so much for joining me here. I'll see you next time.